Freshdesk review, best customer service software. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a review of Freshdesk and how it works and a overall general overview. Uh, we're gonna go over the Freshdesk platform. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like, what it's going to function like, and I'm going to be telling you my personal opinion on Freshdesk and whether or not it is one of the best CRM tools to use in the present moment. So let's get into it. Now, Freshdesk is super popular for crm and there is a reason why because it is so good i'm not flattering fresh desk or anything like that i personally do think it is a great crm application and it enables you to do a lot of your basic crm functions for free as well and you also get a 21 day free trial of their premium version so you can choose to upgrade if you want plus there are different features that enable you to manage your team as well so if you're looking for a software not only as a employee but a employer so if you're a person in a managerial position if you're a founder if you're an owner and you want to be able to manage your team on a crm platform and you actually want to manage productivity and see who is doing how much work and how it is panning out then freshdesk is definitely a great option for you now to get started with freshdesk this is going to be your basic dashboard where you will get a summary of all of the ticketing now with any crm ticketing is one of the major functions functions ticketing is basically when you have issues or when customers have issues or any kind of communication with any other contact any other business any other client or company is managed through ticketing and ticketing is basically uh, the issue and you have to resolve the issue and this is going to give you a overview of that so you have your unresolved you have overdue due today open on hold unassigned and then you have a customer satisfaction you have your unresolved tickets the groups the customer like what specific category these unresolved tickets are from and then you also have a to-do list that you can add and a graphic representation of your ticketing of progress now below that you actually have on your left you have your navigation panel and your navigation panel then you have your tickets so you can just click on tickets and take a view at those take click on any of the ticket titles and now you can see this is a simple little ticket that has been added uh, you can see it is a question it is a status with low priority and and then once you have a ticket that has been received you can just click on agent and add a specific agent to the ticket so they can resolve it now this is just a very simple kind of ticketing platform there is nothing too complicated or overtly difficult to understand you can also export your own tickets over here so uh, you can export a csv file or a excel file if you have any of those or if you have any company fields or contact fields you can import those as well and import all of that information directly on to your Freshdesk CRM or you can also just click on new over here new ticket and add custom tickets from over here as well and you can also customize your ticketing system by going into your contact section so you have contacts and companies you can add specific contacts and add specific companies and then you can manage all of their ticketing directly from that contact as well and this will enable you to filter out communication with a specific contact or a specific company now below that you have your social section where you can also manage your a company crm with social media you can link your twitter account i don't recommend this specific section of freshdesk there are reasons for that it's not as efficient there are other platforms that do it better and i find it to be just not as customizable as it should be so that is why i don't recommend using the social support section that is just a personal preference i think there are many other social media management applications that could function as a crm far better than the fresh desk crm for social media below that you have your solutions book so you can upload all of the data information on how to resolve tickets like you know standard operating procedures your uh, basic query replies you know all of the basic information can be uploaded over here and then your agents can just copy and paste or uh, send the appropriate reply to the appropriate ticket directly to the people that are concerned now below that you have your form section this is just like a faq section you can create then you have your analytics and reports that's pretty self-explanatory in your report section you can manage your 
agents very well. You have your agent performance reports, you have group performance, you have performance distribution, timesheet summaries, and ticket life cycle. So you will be able to really keep a iron fist over your employees with the productivity reports because you can easily see who is doing how much work and how efficient they are. And you can also manage customer happiness and get a overall general review of your CRM software. Then you also have analytics and it's pretty much the same thing with analytics being a general overview of the CRM of the ticketing system. Below that you have your administration settings and you can just manage all of your settings from here. Now if I were to compare this to another CRM tool like Jira. So this is Jira. These are the product sections one thing i don't like about fresh desk is the look the look is pretty outdated it feels like it's a bit old and a platform like jira is doing it a lot better they are pretty similar in my opinion both are amazing i like to do using both of them it just comes down to personal preference but in terms of looks i find that fresh desk is lacking but in all other features and if i was to compare pricing so fresh desk has these features starting at 15 dollars per agent per month and jira has their standard version but the features and the standard version are pretty lacking that is why it is 7.50 per user per month and then they have the premium version at almost $15 per month precious has the pro version for $49 per agent per month and then the enterprise version as well so if you want to save on money then you can go with Jira but more customizable features are available on a platform like Freshdesk and you get things like time tracking on their $15 version and timesheet which you don't get on Jira you can't manage timesheets and you can't you know create invoices and payments directly from this because if you're able to do time tracking you can easily manage your payment methods and payment systems with this as well so if you want to do that if you want all of your agents to be paid and directly from there you know without having to you know calculate invoices and do all that i definitely would recommend using fresh desk and it is one of the greatest crms out there it's in the top five most definitely and even on the free version you get a lot of amazing features that will enable you to perfectly optimize your CRM experience and you can also add up to 10 agents which is very essential because I find that if you're just a small business starting out uh, you probably have like five agents at max so on the free version of Jira as well you can add 10 people as well which is also amazing but I find that the features on the free version over here are a little better so you can definitely can check both of these platforms out and see which one suits you better or check out the other CRM but do make sure to check Freshdesk because it is one of my favorites. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video